So now we will be doing problem numbers 22 to 24 of the same exercise 7.2 on integration by the method of substitution. I will take up the problem number 22. Integrate second square 7 minus 4x. Let i be equal to integral. Write it as integral secant square 7 minus 4x into dx. Put 7 minus 4x is equal to t. This implies minus, <coughs> minus 4 into dx equals dt. Because if you differentiate 7 it is 0, minus 4 is constant, differential coefficient of x is 1 and if you differentiate t with respect to x you get dt by dx, the dx I have taken the x's. I just want dx, so dx is minus of dt by 4. Therefore i becomes equal to integral secant square t because 7 minus 4x is t into dx is minus dt by 4. Minus 1 by 4 is the term coefficient of dt that you can take it outside the integral side. So minus 1 by 4 I have taken outside integral secant square t dt. So i equals minus 1 by 4 into integration of secant square t is tan t. You all know that plus c because differential coefficient of tan t is secant square t. So what is the answer? i equals minus 1 by 4 tan of t. t is 7 minus 4x plus c. That's all. Now the next problem, next problem is 23rd problem, problem number 23, write it as let i be equal to integral, the problem is sin inverse x divided by root of 1 minus x squared, i equals sin inverse x divided by root of 1 minus x squared dx. Well, <clears throat> you can see it here, if the in the given problem, in the given integrand, if there is a factor like 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx, then the substitution is to put sin inverse x as t. And you have here 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx. So simple, straightforward substitution. Put sin inverse x equals t. Differentiating with respect to x implies 1 by root of 1 minus x square because the differential coefficient of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square into dx is equal to dt. When you differentiate t with respect to x, it becomes dt by dx, the dx I am taking to LHS. Therefore, in this problem, 1 upon root of 1 minus x square dx can be replaced by dt. Therefore, i becomes equal to integral. For sin inverse x, I have to write t because t is sin inverse x and dx by root of 1 minus x square, dx by root of 1 minus x square is dt. So the problem becomes i equals integral t dt which upon integration gives t to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus c that is equal to t square by 2 plus c because if you integrate t, it is t to the power of 1. It is t to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. That is equal to t is sin inverse x whole square by 2 plus c. That's the answer. A very simple problem. Okay. Now, problem number 24. Problem number 24. The problem is integrate. 2 cos x minus 3x divided by 6 cos x plus 4 sin x. So write this as i equals integral 2 cos x minus 3 sin x over 6 cos x plus 4 sin x dx. See, if you differentiate cos x, you get sin x. If you differentiate sin x, you get cos x. So,
So if you substitute, take the denominator and substitute it as T and differentiate, you will be getting the numerator replaced. Put 6 cos x plus 4 sin x equals T. Differentiating with respect to x. This is 6 into differential coefficient of cos x is minus sin x plus 4 into differential coefficient of sin x is cos x equals dt by dx. Differential coefficient of t with respect to x is dt by dx. Or you can write it as, first write the positive term. So 4 cos x minus 6 sin x and cross multiply dx to LHS dx equals dt. But in the numerator, you have only 2 cos x minus 3 sin x, not 4 cos x and 6 sin x. So what can you do? You can take 2 common. If you take 2 common, it becomes 2 cos x minus 3 sin x into dx equals dt. Or 2 cos x minus 3 sin x into dx is equal to dt by 2. So the numerator 2 cos x minus 3 sin x into dx is replaced by dt by 2. Therefore i equals integral dt by 2 over and this we have put it as t. That is half of integral dt by d. 1 by 2 is a constant. Take it outside. Then you have dt by t. So this is half log t plus c. So answer is half log of t. What did you put for t? t is 6 cos x plus 4 sin x. 4 sin x and this is to the base e plus c. That's the answer. That's the value of i. Okay. Yeah. So, so far we have completed 24 problems in exercise number 7.2.